Barangay Kamina. Barangay Nebra still up by 9 points as we open the final 12 minutes of action. Ang tanong natin, all tournament long para sa Barangay Nebra, sino ang tutulong sa kanilang tatlong hari? And for tonight, it has been the rookie. Chris Ellis stepping up to the plate. He's been contributing from the outside and the inside. May depensa pa at rebounding na kanyang pinapakita. 17 and 7 so far. Kita mo naman yung shooting. 6 of 7 as we send it over to Erica. Lahat ng mga kanilang one-on-one drills during practices to get used to shooting with intense defense. Sabi ni Chris, pero dahil sa gigil ng huling laro, nagkaroon ng mild spray ng right thumb. Kaya nakatake because he can't fully grasp the ball. He has to simplify his attack without too much movement. Blessing na rin daw para he could slow down and be more sure of his shots. And Sam opens up the final frame with a booming triple. Pabasaan yung mga bandit ng inyo. In that third quarter, Puck and Tex, seven three-point shots and continuing to heat up dito sa ating fourth quarter. Anim na lang ang lamang ng Barangay Hinebra. Juan Asher, caught reaching in. Kasama niya si Sig, sinakalapag. He fell si Deo Campo. Alabat si Namamaril. Lowhorn, Helterbrand, Ellis, and Kagiwa. Balikan natin yung Sunday's game. It was all about offense. Hindi nakasabay yung Barangay Hinebra. In the first two quarters, in this game, Barangay Hinebra played tremendous defense, but in the third, it became a talk and text game. So for Barangay Hinebra to pull this off, they need to go back to what they did in the first two quarters. Stop, defensive stops, defensive stops. Ellis with his eighth rebound of the game and a chance to add to this tournament personal best 17-point performance of his. Second personal foul picked up on Rani Del Deo Campo. Ellis taking care of the first. Winner of this matchup moves into the quarterfinals this coming Thursday contra sa Petron. Ang mga hindi pa pala rin, magbabakasyonan. Next season na natin makikita. Pero ang quarterfinals po, bukas talaga magbisa. Rainer Shine Global Port at saka San Miguel, Alaska. First miss of Courtney Fels from the three-point area. What a reward, no? For Tolkien Next or Barangay Hinebra. Petron, Petron <laughs> the hottest team in the league. Well, they are coming off a nearly two-week break. Let's see how they do as, as we send it over to Erica. Napalait man ang TNT ang lead ng Hinebra pero huwag daw tumigil ang barangay sa defense na itinatapat nila, sabi ni Coach Ako. Mukha namang hindi nagpapanik ang mga players ng Hinebra dahil nag-appear pa si Mark and L.A. bago pumasok sa court si The Spark. <laughs> Iwa picks up the personal foul sa pagkakataon na yun. Jason Castro at the line for two shots. Been pretty quiet this ball game. Only six points for Jason Castro. Make that seven. Yung effect kasi ni Jason Castro, hindi lang sa puntos, but even creating for his teammates. And so far, nung nakabalik itong talk and text, it's been Courtney Fels and Jimmy Alapag and Larry Foncher. 89-82 is the score. Barangay Nebra wanting to add to the 7-point lead. Tenorio ibinalik na para kay Kagiwa. He had into the stretch run of this knockout game. Ito sa aming pasa. Nahuli ni Mamaril. Lohorn a little disappointed. LA giving Billy Mann some pointers here. basically just clearing that pass up and saying that it wasn't for him they want Billy Mamariel to be able to try to get offensive rebounds Castro against Tenorio babagsak niya sa poste papunta kay RDO peak from the elbow couldn't deliver the two points Ellis now with nine boards Mamariel looking Papunta sa poste, Lohorn clobbered. He threw to the line for two free throws. That was a tough foul by RDO. Actually, the foul was called on Ali Peek. So, nung pag-ikot pa lang, na-foul na ni Ali Peek. Lohorn rattles over the first. Let's take a look at this Rigzona power rebound brought to you by Rigzona Men. 
50% more long-lasting protection, so you can do more. Lowhorn pushes the Hinebra lead back up to nine. Dog and Tex on the attack once again. Fels that Tini Kling wins the baseline. Foul whistled as he was forced out. Fourth personal foul now on Billy Mamarill. You know, for Dog and Tex, you know, they've made a big move already in the third quarter here in the fourth quarter for Barangay Hinebra and Talking Text. You know, Talking Text, you need to be able to move that basketball a little bit better. Uh, that's a technical foul. Oh, things are starting to come undone para dito sa Hinebra. Elterbrand slapped with a technical for complaining. Kanina si Mamaril namigay ng flagrant foul. Let's see if Hinebra can refocus here and put the Tropang Texters away. Still Almost 10 minutes of action remain. And that's the right word. You got to refocus because humabul na itong talking text. So there's a lot more pressure now. You need to be able to focus. Ano ba yung ginagawa mo kanina para makalamang ka? Fels once again. Pulls up for another long one. Not that time around. No horn. Taps it to himself. Ellis on the breakout. Taplo kalaban. Magaantay muna ng kanyang point guard. Brand on the move. Gets it over to Mamaril. Tenorio from the left, the top of the key. Four seconds to work with. Couldn't buy it. Send on the three. Better Ellis with yet another rebound. He's got a double double. Talk about the effort of Barangay Hinebra trying to get those offensive rebounds. In that last game on Sunday, they got outplayed off the boards. Pero dito sa larong ito. Lamang ang Barangay Hinebra, 39 to 33. Lowhorn battling Anthony. Lowhorn carving out some space. Overshoots. Pamaril, nothing on the follow. Ellis is fouled on his 11th board. What a performance, binabanggit mo Yung rebounding battle dito, Barangay Hinebra not giving up. They are imposing their presence. Kung ano nangyari noong Sunday dun sa loob, the big men of Barangay never taking it as a challenge. But your Lord could have gotten away with an offensive foul there. Lowhorn against Anthony na naman. Lowhorn wanting to be patient. Baseline shot on him by Anthony, but a foul is whistled on the region. Jason Castro immediately, Sinugut si Anthony, relax, we cannot afford a technical foul. They don't want a technical foul because they are, they are within striking distance. Coach Norman though, beside himself on that sideline. You know, they may not agree with the call or the non-call, but like you said, they need to focus. Lowhorn misses on the first, 8 and 56 remaining in the season. For one of these two squads, kaya naman the emotions are reaching fever pitch here. Nothing on those two tries. Fels on the move, bounces into Castro. Doubler looking to slash through. Anthony back to Castro. Attacking the lane, Lohorn shuts it down. And a foul is whistled on the pass. Jason Castro, now is his time. You know, the three point shots now of Talking Text cool down a little bit. Dito sa ating fourth quarter. They need to be able to get to that basket, get a different look, maybe a layup or a pass. Mamarel picked up his fifth personal, kaya balik si Wilson. Anthony misses on that three. My God, Ellis is definitely skying here at the Big Dome. 91-83, Barangay Nebra looking for another double-digit spread. They tuck it down low to Lowhorn. He kicks it over. JJ, his pass thwarted. By Punisher, Barangay Nebra will have eight seconds to try and put one up. Tenorio to Ellis. Not tapping for Punisher. Ellis has got to go. The long two. No go, but Lowhorn keeps it on this side, and Hinebra will reset. The extra effort for Barangay Hinebra off those offensive boards. That's the 13th offensive rebound. Eight minutes remaining. So win or go home ball game na ito. Ellis for three. No, Castro 
Rebound. Castro na rin na magtatawid para sa tropa. Castro surveys the floor. And he backpedals and passes to Larry. Free for the three. Away from play. There is a foul. Bago pa man, makarelease si Ponacher. Might just be a blessing in disguise that foul of Evans. Dahil pumasok yung attempt ni Larry. Timeout muna para sa PNP. Down by 8 points. On their 10th game. Dahil do or die playoff na to, sila pa rin na sinasandalan. Pero ang magandang balita para sa barangay, may nakatulog na sa kanila. You talk about Chris Ellis. Chris Ellis been playing fantastic basketball. But ito yung tatlong hari. Barangay Hinebra, Lohorn with 28. Kagiwa with 16. Tenorio with 14. And he's also thing. in double figures in assist. Chris Ellis, that was only his first personal foul. So magandang ano yun, sinyales para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Coach Ato Agustin also forcing to sit him down first to rest him a little bit. Para dun sa pagdating ng maybe last 5 minutes, ipapasok niya ulit ito. Jason Castro sneaks one through. And that puts Talk and Text to within 6 points. And I will correct myself before we get ahead, uh, move forward. Bukas pala, yung Meralco. Baral, Meralco, Baraco Bull yung first game Alas 5 ng hapon And then Alaska Sandmig Doon sa second game Dito rin yan sa Victor As Wilson gets those two right back Raba Al Husseini playing for the first time in this ball game Oh uh, no, binasok na ni Coach Norman dito si Al Husseini First time in a while He was in the doghouse last time around As Spells gets the scoop A different look para sa talking text Doon sa kanilang opensa Getting to the basket that time Delay of game. Technical whistled on talk and text here. Alusini called off the bench. Tinapik daw palayu yung bola. And that is the third defense. Yung pong binago this conference. Continue na pansin. Hindi na ina announce yan. Hindi na tinitigil yung laro. Ah, ina announce pa rin. Hindi lang tinitigil yung laro. Tuloy tuloy lang. Pero pag bakat to na, kailangan to migil. Dal technical. Technical free throw na eh. Dati dalawa lang. Pero warning pa lang. Hihit to na. Just to announce. Kagiwa making his way back onto the floor para sa Inebra. The White Shirts wanting to take away the fight mula dito sa tropa. Still under 7 minutes remaining in this game. Tenorio wanting to post up against Jimmy. Barakel decides against it. Barakel attacking fails. You know, the thing for Barangay Hinebra, nagahanap sila ng tulong, di ba, nung tatlong hari. Chris Ellis is there. And then meron mga Willie Wilson every here and there. Ito Mac Barakael, able to score. Jimmy misses, pero si Castro, muntik ang masahot ni Wilson on the rebound. Eagle ay ang ating referees as we take a look at this Photon Thunder Drive. Brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. Castro though misses on that first free throw. Both teams in the penalty. Hahaba ang port quarter na to. 3 out of 8 for Jason Castro from the line. Make that 4 out of 9. Talk and text still lingering. Just within 8 points. Barangay Nebra sat on a 21 point lead in the third quarter. How do they get that back? They go to Kagiwa. Mark Kagiwa delivers the goods. Finding that hole in the defense of Talk and text. To Sanbe mismatch na hand nila si Kagiwa. Alusani underneath is fouled by Kagiwa. No other recourse by Mark. Fifth personal foul on the reigning MVP. Let's talk about that effort of Mark Kagiwa. Shang Humabul. No easy two para sa talk and text. Make Alusani earn it from the line. And Alusani, ipinasok nga dito ni Coach Raman dito lang sa fourth dial. Lima na foul nito ni na Ali Peak, nila Sean Anthony. Mga bigs ng tropa in foul trouble. Alusani splits, brings them to within nine. Anim na minuto na lang natitira sa season ng isa sa dalawang kopuna na ito. Barangay Nebra wanting to play again on Thursday as they go on the attack. Kagiwa, turnaround jumper, no. Rebound na sa tropa. Castro speeding things up. Doubler all the way to the hole. That's what they need him to do. Jason Castro to the hole. Getting the easy two. And, seven points alone. No, and Kagiwa had to give it up. Dahil lima na personal foul niya. Then Oreo over to Wilson. 
LA will reset. They look for Lohorn. Alusani on him. Lohorn. Nakatawan. The jump hook is fouled once again. But the right offensive set para sa Barangay Hinebra. They understand your Lohorn has the advantage against Raba Al Husseini down low. Hinanap nila. Nakakuha sila ng foul. Lohorn now 7 of 11 from that 15 foot line as we send it once again over to Erica. Sabi ni LA, kung hindi man daw agad nila makita si Dior, just continue passing the ball. Tinuloy ni Coach ato ang instructions na gawin daw nila ayon, forcing it to the baseline hanggang makarating eventually sa kanilang import. Balik sa inyo. 99-91 na sa ating talaan. It is Zinebra still by 8. Larry wanting to take 3. Punches that one through. And this is the closest talk and text has come after being down by as much as 21. 28 points for Larry Bonacher lifting talk and text. 5 points na lang ang lamang ng Barangay Hinebra. Paalala po ha, bukas alas 5 ng hapon, simula na po ng ating quarterfinals. Meralco takes on Baraco. Meralco po ang twice to be dyan. Bago yung salpukang San Mig Coffee at Alaska, San Mig naman yung twice to beat sa matchup na yun. It's be a very interesting doubleheader tomorrow. Hindi mo alam eh, no? Masaya, masaya to. Naka, ngayong gabi pa lang, knockout na ang labanan pagdating bukas. Ganun din. All the way this week until we reach the semis, best of seven, and the finals. Our good commissioner, Tony Chito Salude and Boss Willie Marshall. Overseeing everything inside the big dome as stock and Tex has come to within five points. Kagiwa off a couple of screens. Pero Tenorio pa rin may tanga ng bola. LA in traffic. Held down by Alusaini. That's just a smart play by LA Tenorio. Alam niya na mauunahan niya dun sa spot. And when Raba put his hands down, sinubo niya yung kamay niya. Veteran moves on the part of the Commissioner's Cup Best Player of the Conference. You pay isang uh, sub, uh, sub plot natin dito. No? Jason Castro, the Philippine Cup BPC. L.A. Tenorio, the Coms Cup BPC. Eh, sinasabi, kung sino mas malayo marating sa third conference dito sa Coms Cup, mas gagandaan chance para sa MVP. Oh, definitely your performance and your team's performance plays a major role if you win an MVP award. 101-94. Barangay Nebra by 7. Fells gliding in the air is fouled. Lowhorn picks up his third. Courtney Fells was very aggressive in the third quarter. Kind of simmered off a little bit. And now here, the last four minutes and 39. He needs to assert himself again. Mintis pa yung kanyang unang free throw as Mamaril comes back in with five personal fouls. Pinagpahinga na si Willie Wilson. Winning time na for both squads here. As Spell splits, brings them to within six. Lowhorn will offer the pick. LA will not use it. Now LA comes back to the ball. Ellis to Agiwa. Mark had to recover. The leaner. No. Rebound Kagiwa. Wala pa rin. Na kanina na. Fell sends up with it. Here come the Tropang Texers. Fonacher goes up. He's got 30 points. Conference high for Larry Fonacher, but nobody home. Lowhorn. Hindi mapawi. Rani Del Dio Campo gets it right back. I correct myself. Bento Mebe palan daw. Si Larry. Fells for three. In and out, Lowhorn for the board. Barangay Nebra up, but only by four points. Tenorio throw him a little pick. Jimmy trying to keep in front of LA. Tenorio looking for Lowhorn. Dior, no. Rebound battle, Naganino. LA ends up with it. And he will try and calm things down for Jose Nebra. Gotta credit Billy Mamaril for keeping that ball alive. 30 second timeout requested here by Coach Ato Agustin. 3.21 remaining, Dom. This has been as good as advertised. 
fantastic ball game for both these teams. The first two quarters, total control of Malagay Ginebra. The Duncan Tex turning it on in the third and the fourth quarter. So Barangay Nebra wanting a sure basket on this next sequence to relieve some of the pressure off their shoulders. Last few plays, itong talk and text, ni nakakashoot dun sa three points. Might want to try to get it inside. Ito naman Barangay Ginebra. Just trying to get all the points that they can from their import. It is win or go home dito sa loob ng Big Dome. Para kay Eli, pinalik para kay Ellis. Nandiyan dyan din si Tenorio, Kagiwa, Lowhorn, and Mamaril. 14 seconds on their shot clock. They get it over to the post. Lowhorn has it slapped away. Eight seconds to shoot. What will LA do? LA zigzagging its way to a one-hander. No, Ronnie Del for the rebound. Here comes Castro. Castro locating for a share, taking the three. Ini one get fails. Courtney misses. Rebound battle. Bulag Pasilari. And if that's on Kagiwa, that'll be his sixth personal foul. That's a big one. Mark Kagiwa, 18 points and 5 rebounds. And the reigning MVP will now have to just join the prayer warriors naman ng Barangay Inebra as he will just be a cheerleader on that bench. Big game with Daniel Effort. Itong si Larry Fonashera could have opted for that 3-point shot but decided to go inside. Then pinasa na dito kay Courtney Fels. Missed that shot and Fonashir again going for that rebound. Fonashir 30 points, 6 assists. 30, but 20 na lang dito. Oh, so 30, tama nga tayo, 30, ano? Dito sa big cube, 20 na, kaya nakore ko kanina. So sa official score that then, Larry's now got 31, or 30. Now he's got 31. And it's a one possession game, Dom. What a comeback by Talk and Text. Now, more important than ever, you have to make big stops and good decisions on offense. Helter Brand waiting for the motion. LA will pop out on the right. Tenorio locating Barangel. He bobbles, right. he recovers the reverse is blocked. Ball is loose. Naganino. Ball will remain with Barangay Hinebra. Pero Dom, two seconds na lang a shot clock dito ng mga nakapote. They gotta go quick. Helter Brand rifling it in. Lowhorn looking to bail them out. Gets the basket off the finger roll. Quick move by Dior Lowhorn. 31 points going to that basket. Strong. Hinebra back up by five. Castro. Couldn't pull the trigger. Fels against Wilson. He attacks the baseline. Fels to Castro. Ayo Parin. Where will they go? Five to shoot. Doubler against Lowhorn. Fels will pull the trigger. No. Lowhorn with a rebound as we hit the two minute warning inside the big dome. Elder Brand. Waiting for their execution. JJ to Lowhorn. Napunta kay Tenorio. He slices through. LA is fouled. And he will shoot to the line for two shots. Tenorio calmly sinking the first. It's a six-point lead para sa Inebra. 18 and 10 across his number. Perfect from that 15-foot line. And he makes it a three-possession lead para sa Inebra. We talked about one guy on Barangay Inebra that does not want to lose, does not want their season to end. It's Lieutenant L.A. Tenorio. 105. 98 talk and Tex will need to score three times at least 
to try and overcome this seven point deficit. Ang nagiging problema nitong talk and text, they haven't been knocking down those three point shots. Ito na po ulit yung ating playoff picture on one bracket. We have the survivor of this knockout game going up against Petron on Thursday. Tapos yung Rain or Shine Global Park din. Yung kabilang game doon. And then tomorrow yung mag-uumpisang quarterfinal sa Meralco twice to meet contra Barago Bull and San Mc Coffee in the nightcap going up against Alaska. Jason, you take out the big. Okay? Randall, you take out the small. All right? In, out. Look for your shot. If you don't have it, take out whoever's closest to you and you come right back into the play and attack. Hey, we gotta be huh? quick. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick with you guys. Make sure we get the basketball in bounds. So, Ranadel, you scream for Jimmy. Make sure we get it in bounds, okay? On the other end, you have to match up with your import, Ranadel. Okay. Multi-title champion coach, ito si Coach Norman Black. Calm, a calm customer in situations like this. He wants his boys to execute this na walang panic. Well, he wants them to be able to have multiple options. And that's what he was trying to explain. Alapag is on the floor. Kasama si Fels, Leo Campo, Ponacher, and Castro. Coach Norman wanting them to inbound right in front of their bench. Alapag ang tatangga. Dog in Texas down by seven. Fels over to Larry. Back to Fels. Attacking the lane. Fels off balance. Loses the leather. Paragel gets it over to Tenorio. And LA will waste away some valuable seconds here. 15 pass on the shot clock. LA chasing after it. Talk and text. Wanting to play good on his defense on the sequence. Tenorio on the move for the shoot. LA all the way! L.A. Tenorio taking charge here in the fourth quarter. Good defense by Barangay Hinebra in this play. And then Hinebra, L.A. Tenorio just taking it to the gut of the defense, extending this lead to nine. Coach Norman Black could not believe it. Upset might be an understatement after that last defensive breakdown on the part of the Tropang Texters. Well, there was nobody that went up against that shot of L.A. Tenorio. And that's what you don't want. Because ang ganda ng pinakitang depensa ng Barangay Hinebra, tapos pagdating naman sa kabila, itong talk and text was not able to do the same thing. Talk and text will have to summon everything they have as deep as they can go as they are down by four baskets at least on 108.98 well they gotta knock down a quick shot maybe a three-point shot or a layup and then force a turnover they gotta go quick yun ang kailangan talaga nila they look for punisher jumps it back out fells for three no na ubusa na yata from that third quarter storm and Barangay Hinebra, after missing their opportunity last Sunday, looking primed here, Dom, to take that last quarterfinal seed. What I like about Barangay Hinebra is they let their defense dictate the pace dito sa fourth quarter, making those crucial stops. Barangay couldn't get the exclamation point, but with half a minute remaining, Falcon Tex is still in attack mode. Castro gets that layup. Near turnover. Elderbrand looking to get it across. And a timeout requested here. Just as they got it. Pero Barangay Hinebra up by 8 points. Mukhang sila na nga ang tutuloy sa quarterfinals contra Petron. What a big game by Barangay Hinebra today. You know, we talked about them giving up 100 points. The first two quarters, maganda ang kanilang depensa. Nung third quarter, nag-init itong talk and text. But so far here in the fourth, Barangay Hinebra able to make the stops that they needed. Tanda natin, last conference. Barangay Hinebra qualified as the seventh seed. They took down Rainer Shine, the second seed, and made it all the way to the finals. This time around, mas mahirap pa para sa sarili nila. They had to go through this do-or-die playoff. 
they look like they are going to qualify as the eighth seed. Let's see how far they go as compared to last conference. Well, twice to beat Itong Petron, but if there's or if there are teams that can do it, it's got to be Talking Tex and it's got to be Barangay Hinebra. Well, all Barangay Hinebra needs to do now is get it inbounds. One second differential lang yan. Game clock and shot clock and LA Tenorio is fouled by Fonacher. What a tournament para dito kay LA Tenorio. Even if this will only be officially Barangay Nebra's fourth win of the Governor's Cup. Jason said it last Sunday. I can't argue with him. LA Tenorio is playing the best basketball individual-wise. 10 out of 10 from the free throw line, making the right decisions, making the big plays. And he's not shying away from them. Pag kinakailangan siya pumutos, nandun siya. Kapag naman may libre siyang kakampi, ibibigay din niya yun. Validel de Ocampo getting a couple of points there, but Barangay Hinebra will just dribble away the time. What a performance here. They led by as much as 21 in that third quarter. Tolkien Tech threatened. They were knocking on door here in the fourth. But Barangay Nebra finding the antidote. Doing enough to keep Tolkien Tech at bay. Barangay Hinebra, total team effort. Tinanong natin kanina, tatlong hari kailangan ng katulong. Guys like Chris Ellis were able to step up. Guys like Joppet Aguilar being injured in all. Pero naglaro pa rin dito sa larong ito. Started it out. Set the tone on defense for this ball game Barangay Hinebra with this 8 point win Barangay Hinebra Mark Kagiwa wasn't even able to finish this ball game pero makita mo naman what a relief para sa kanya after fouling out as they extend their season dog well he can now get back on Thursday and not foul out and win against Petron and just make everybody yung buong Barangay make them all happy but what a big win for Barangay Hinebra we talked about them playing good defense nagawa nila rin sa larong ito sa dami ng bida Sa barangay ng Hinebra, there can only be one hero of the day. The all-around brilliance once again. Ni Teniente, LA Tenorio, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists, LA. Pero all tournament long, ang hinahanap natin yung makakatulong yung tatlo ni Mark at ni Dior. How about your rookie, Chris Ellis? Gano kalaki yung contribution niya dito? Well, uh, we kept on talking to him naman eh. Uh, all throughout the season, actually all throughout the, all throughout the year, talagang... Uh, kinakausap namin siya na pasensya lang siya. Uh, talaga makukuha niya talaga yung role niya dito sa team. And good thing, uh, yung timing ng, ano, ng game niya, sobrang ganda ngayon. And siguro bibigay itong game na to sa kanya talaga. <laughs> Kasi talaga yung effort niya nandun talaga. And yung hustle niya nandun talaga. LA, ibang-iba yung laro niyo ngayon in terms of the defense. At yung pagdating dun sa rebounding, talagang pinaghanda niyo itong uh, talking text sa larong ito. Yes, uh, last game kasi dun kami natalo eh. Talagang yung big guys nila, talagang uh, in-overpower yung big guys namin. So, yun yung naging challenge sa mga big guys namin today. Rebounding eh, tsaka yung pick and roll defense namin, yun talaga yung nagiging problem namin eh. So, good thing, nag-step nag up lahat ng big guys namin. And everyone, everyone in the team nag-step up talaga. Lay, naglaro kayo ng Friday, Sunday, Tuesday ngayon. Tapos twice to win kayo kontra Petron starting Thursday. Hindi ka ba natatakot na baka maubusan kayo? Uh, well, playoff na eh. So, lahat talaga ibibigay na namin. And sanay na kami dito. Last, last, last conference, ganito rin yung situation namin. And hopefully, uh, ganun pa rin yung respond ng mga players. And, you know, yung pagod siguro after na rin talaga. After na ng season talaga. Kung talaga hindi kami papalarin, doon na lang kami magpapahinga. <laughs> Ito naman, Lay, pagkakataon mo na bukod doon sa players. Yung fans yun naman, yung million-million nyo million across the Philippines. Pagkakataon mong imbitan starting Thursday sa inyong laban, sa inyong climb up against Petron. Uh, first of all, nagpapasalamat ako kay Lord. Uh, binigyan niya kami ng strength. Kasi nga, yun nga, dire-direcho yung game namin. And sa lahat ng mga fans ng Inebra, Maraming maraming salamat sa walang support, uh, walang sawang pagsuportan nyo sa amin. Uh, talo, panalo na dyan kayo. And sana, huwag kayong magsawa. Kita-kita tayo sa game namin against Petron sa Thursday. And dinabati ko yung baby ko, si Santi, and my wife na nood siya, and sa family ko. Sa lahat ng mga taga na Sugo, Batangas. Congratulations once again, LA. Thank you. And congratulations sa Barangay Hinebra. So, ang walo na team na tutuloy into the quarterfinals ay eh, kompleto na. Well, finally, we have an eight cast complete of the quarterfinalists. Petron Blaze will take up Barangay Hinebra. Rain or shine against Global Port. San Migkofi naman, kalaban ng Alaska Aces. And then the Morocco Bulls also with a twice-to-beat advantage against Barakubol. At yung bracket sa baba, e eh, bukas na magsisimula 
Meralco, Barraco, alas 5 ng hapon, Alaska, San Mig, pagdating ng alas 7.30 ng gabi. And that's going to be an interesting doubleheader in tomorrow's ball game. Any of those teams could end it or could extend it. So it's going to be interesting. Lahat ng ating uh, quarterfinal pairings will be very interesting. And to extend, uh, you're a poet and you yes. don't even know it. <laughs> That'll do it for us inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Sa ngalan ni Dominico Inieri Capadilla, director natin si Julius Melo at producer na si Randy Victoria. Magumarjan po, nagpapasalamat sa inyong pananood. This has been a Sports 5 production of the PBA on IBC.